Hi, this is Erica the Goober and this is Marley. In this video, I'm going to share with you five digital art tips for beginners that I wish I knew when I was first starting out. Okay, so my first tip is to check your resolution before you start doing your drawing. Um, this is extremely important, especially if you're taking a picture of your sketches with your phone to color them in Photoshop or Procreate. This is a drawing I did in 2013 of one of the Animal Crossing characters and I did not check my resolution before I started drawing. So right now if you uh, go up to your image, image size, you can see resolution right here. It's only 72 pixels and if I zoom in it's very um, pixelated right here like you can especially see like around the eyes oh yeah like nothing is smooth it does not look good it will not print well it will not look good on the computer um, so what you want to do before you start drawing if you do this after you start drawing I can do that now I can change it to higher resolution and it's still going to be blurry so when you start your drawing, you want to go, um, you want to make your resolution 300 pixels per inch. This is what I always do, um, and it works out pretty well for prints and it looks good on the computer. So 300 is your magic number for your resolution. Um, my second tip is all about your brush settings and varying your line weights. When you first start out in Photoshop, it's a good idea to mess around with your different brushes uh, that are available to you and play around with these settings up here. Um, this is my favorite brush, the chalk brush. Up here, you can find your brush settings. So I always have mine at 100 opacity for the most part. Um, I always have this turned on. This will allow you to um, use your pin pressure so it's like lightly press and then you can see it like get darker if I didn't have this on it'd be the same all the time you don't get that like gradient up there I keep my flow at around 40% but it might be different for you um, it just depends on what you like and you have to play around with it to uh, get something that feels more comfortable to you the second part of this is all about varying your line weight. So this is a drawing that I did in 2008 when I was about 14. All my lines are the same thickness and they're squiggly down here and that's because I didn't know a brush setting that I liked. Um, and it's always good to vary your line weight because it makes your drawing look more natural, it gives it a little more weight, and I normally um, kind of put my my uh, the darker lines like at the bottom where there would be like a shadow um, or where like two surfaces meet like kind of like a chin uh, meets the neck I always put like a darker line down there but obviously this is not gonna be like great just because uh, I'm drawing over top of something but it would give it like a little more depth and interest to your lines. My next tip is to use your soft brushes sparingly and to add some texture into your digital work. I have a few examples to show you for this. Um, this one is from 2010. I was really into um, Sly Cooper video games. I, got, like, I liked drawing different um, fan art of that, but in this one I did two different kind of styles in the same drawing and so this is like the comic style um, just very bold and no like smooth lines and then I matched that with this very like airbrushed look and you can't like I know it's the background but it just doesn't match like even the stuff up close it doesn't look solid and um, it just looks too airy it doesn't match it's kind of confusing for the viewer um, so here's another one that I did I think I used the soft brush and that's it um, I guess there's some like harder lines in here but everything's very messy with this airbrush look a couple things I like to do to 
make my digital work look more natural is use a texture brush. So something like that, or um, I mean, even like the normal brush that I use has a little bit of like texture in it. I also like to add noise once I'm finished with my drawing. So I go up here to filter, go to noise, add noise. And from there you can just play around with the amount of noise that you want to add to give it more of a kind of a paper texture. Adding texture to your digital work through brushes and adding noise at the end can really help your digital drawings look more appealing and more interesting. Okay, so my next tip is to not be tempted to use the burn and dodge tool to shade and highlight your drawings and do not shade with black. Uh, this drawing, I, this is probably my first digital thing that I did. This is in 2007. I just went crazy with the shading in here. Um, so over here, this dodge tool, um, what I did was I just did this. I did this to, uh, shade everything and that it will wash everything out because this is using exposure so it's it's just washing it out with white as your light source and then the burn tool all it does is darken the color that you already have down so if i would have used like more of a kind of a red tone to start out Oh, this is not even right. Um, um, if I would have done like a tone like that and colored on top of my um, painting, then it would have looked more natural than just taking a shortcut and using the burn and dodge tool. This one's from 2011, but I shaded everything with black, which like really makes the image muddy and I have this like, I don't know if I used the uh, dodge tool on this or not, um, but if I would have like had some, since the light coming um, from the background is like a yellowy color, you wanna pick the opposite color on the color wheel. So if it's like a yellow light, it'll be more towards blue. This is gonna, I don't know if I can even save this one. I kind of work on it too hard. Just more of like a blue color would have like helped this so much, even though, you know, the face is, is a little troubling. <laughs> a book that I suggest if you want to learn about color and lighting uh, would be Color and Light by James Gurney. I will put the link to that in the description. You can check that out. That's helped me so much. My last tip for this video is to not draw with black lines if you want your drawings to be more unified and your paintings to have like colors that are very cohesive. I'm not saying that you can never use black lines. There are some styles that it looks really nice and like comics and stuff, like that's totally fine. But I'm just saying if you want your paintings to look more like unified in color, then do not use black lines because it will flatten your image and like in this one i made this in 2014 this is elizabeth from bioshock infinite um i used black to shade which i just talked about do not do it looks very muddy and kind of dirty on uh this drawing since i uh did this in black it just kind of like flattens everything out and it looks Everything just kind of, the colors just don't even work with this because like everything is just too dark, like especially on her lips. Now we're going to take this drawing of Elsa that I did recently and kind of see how these uh, five things that I talked about would change this drawing if I did it the same way that I used to draw. So here is the final drawing. If I take this away, this is a, the sketch with some color. Um, so here it is with black lines that I, I have thinned out as much as I can to be one line weight. Here is what it would look like 
if I'd used the burn and dodge tool for the lighting and used some black shading on it, it really washes everything out. Uh, the colors are not cohesive. Hopefully this little example uh, shows you what a difference these five tips can make in your digital art. I really wish I knew these things like when I was starting out because I think they are the five main things that have really helped me improve. I do have a few more things to mention before I go. I would like to thank my patrons for sponsoring this video with a very special shout out to Nezreen, Sean, Spriggan Sorcier, and SDC Creative Australia on Instagram. You may have noticed that my audio sounds much better than last time and that's because I recently bought a new mic and I couldn't have bought this without the help of my patrons. Thank you guys so so much. My Patreon starts at only one dollar a month where you can get uh, different sketches and stuff that I don't post anywhere else and Photoshop documents and all this other cool stuff that um, you can check out if you'd like to. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe if you want to see more art videos like this. For this week's discussion, I want you to let me know some different video topics that you would like to see on my channel, um, especially ones for beginner artists. Um, I'm really wanting to do more tutorials and stuff on my channel, so just let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!